All right, tonight on America First, the Biden administration demanding conservative radio icon resign, a conservative radio icon, resign from his position in overseeing a San Francisco park. What? Last year, former President Trump appointed Michael Savage to the board of directors of the Presidio Trust. It's an organization overseeing the preservation of San Francisco's national park area at the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a very beautiful place even though San Francisco is falling apart. While there are three other Trump appointees on this board, Savage says he has been singled out, and we're trying to figure out what this is. It's a very bizarre story, and Michael Savage, host of The Michael Savage Show and New York Times bestselling author, joins us now to talk about it. Sir, it's good to see a, a very bizarre story. What exactly is happening here? Well, I want to start with how important a trust board member is okay. to the citizens of the United States. This is 1,200 pristine acres. People like me stand in the way of developers. That's what we're there for, to make sure that it's not turned over to people who want to make a profit off it. Uh, it's a public trust that must be cared for by ardent conservationists and preservationists, not by political hacks. So that is why the board consists of independent individuals, independent of all political influence. We are the equivalent, in a way, of the Supreme Court. The president can appoint us, but a president cannot fire us. The reason is, is that we are therefore independent of political influence. And so this came out of the blue this morning. Resign or we're going to fire you by the end of the day. Well, my lawyer looked into the Presidio Trust bylaws, Rob, and the Congressional Act of 1996 establishing it says there's no one, including the current president, who has the power to terminate an appointed board member. It is not part of the federal government. The trust is a corporation owned by them with its own bylaws uh, governing how a board member is appointed and removed. Sure. The only state away for removal is by one's own letter of resignation. I will not resign. And if they do throw me off the board for no reason whatsoever, we are going to seek an injunction. My attorney, Daniel Horowitz, sure. has let, already notified them. And let me, let me ask you real quick. I, I just want to know, how did you get on the board? I mean, did somebody just quit or die or something when no, Biden or when no, Trump was in office? Just, yeah. How it works is terms expire and new presidents fill them. Uh -huh. And I will remind everyone listening that President Trump did not purge anyone who had been appointed okay. by President Obama. This is unprecedented. Usually the terms are up. My term ends in 2023. It doesn't end now. It ends in 2023. It, it and so okay, in why do they want to get rid of me? Obviously, they don't want any oversight by an independent like myself. Well, I, mean, I, I just, want to honor the, so I want to honor the soldiers care? and preserve... I'm sorry. Why, why do they care? Why in the hell does the Biden administration care about who is on the board of Presidio Park? And I mean, of all the things going on, why do they care about this? I mean, I just well, I read the story. A, I couldn't believe it. That's a very interesting question. Yeah. What do they have up their sleeve? Are there developers who want to put someone on the board as a stooge uh -huh. who will want to develop some apartment buildings on this sacred 1,200 acres? Do they want to purge any reference to the U.S. military on this mili ex-military base and turn it oh. into Woodstock West? OK, we have you know, we have the largest graveyard of fallen soldiers outside of Arlington. I call it the Arlington of the West. Maybe they want to pave over the cemetery and put a high rise on it and make some money off it. Yeah. I don't know what they want to do. Nobody knows, Rob. They'll turn it into a Black Lives Matter plaza or something like that. Oh, don't uh, say that. please. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? This is this is I'm, I'm glad you're holding your ground. You're not going to you're not going to stand down. You're not going to resign. Your term's up for not for another two years. Please keep us posted on this. Let's I want to know if you get another <laughs> letter, if something else happens, because I mean, talk about stories that come out of left field. This came out of left field and we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I woke but you explained up this it well. morning and I said, you, Rob, I woke up this morning. And I said, what? Yeah. All I did was submit some <laughs> ideas for exhibits for the military her heritage of the Presidio. And the next thing I know, they're throwing me off the commission. Why? Yeah. No reason. No reason. No. Michael it's Savage. Like this. Rob, yeah. you know what this is? What? Chairman Mao's Little Red Book. <laughs> That's the subject of my next podcast. We'll this check is it out. starting to look more and more like the purges of China on the Mao Zedong. Well, we, we definitely want to check that out. We're out of time, but uh, that's a good tease for the podcast. Michael Savage, host of The Michael Savage Show. Uh, thank you, sir, for a very interesting story tonight. Good to see you. Thanks, Rob. I really appreciate the of opportunity. Of course. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. 
Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.